For today's video, I want to bring you life hacks that every single girl needs to know. And if you're a guy, you might just need to know these too. Everything from doing gorgeous hair in curls in half the time, um, fixing little mascara mistakes, getting your winged liner even, boosting up a cup size, quick and healthy breakfasts in the morning, making sure your hair does not get stuck in your lip gloss. I'm telling you, it is all in this video. These tips are going to blow your mind and your beauty routine. Like, whoops. And you know, I love things that go snap, crackle, pop, especially if those things are Rice Krispies. Anyways, without any further blabbing, I will show you these life and beauty hacks that will absolutely blow your mind. Do you do your makeup in the morning and you are like, oh my God, I am so fierce. And then you walk outside and you're like, oh Lord, what is going on? If your makeup is always changing the lighting, test your makeup with the light on your phone. This is the perfect way to make sure that your makeup looks great in all sorts of lighting that you may encounter throughout the day. Were you accidentally doing your makeup and got a little bit of foundation on your shirt? Or were you hugging someone that you love and they got their makeup on your shoulder? The first instinct is to go and wipe it, but don't do that. Actually take the fabric and rub the fabric against itself. Doing this will remove the makeup much more efficiently than if you just tried to wipe it off. Whoops! No more powder on your shoulders. Dust your shoulders off. When it comes to fragrance, we all have that problem where we apply perfume and it just goes away super quickly. First thing you do is take Vaseline or Bag Bomb or anything like that and apply this before you apply your perfume. So for me, I'm going to apply it to my wrists. Um, you can also apply it to the back of your knees um, or anywhere where your pressure points are. Those are points that blood pulsates through. So while you're wearing your perfume throughout the day, the blood is going to pulsate through these areas and keep the scent invigorated and refreshed. Now that I've applied the bag bomb, it's time to just spray the perfume. And this will actually keep it lasting a lot longer since the natural oils of your skin have this little barrier before they break the scent down. It's a life hack to make your perfume last all day. Um, and just for the sake of it, I have to like throw this out there. I am Scentbird's Muse of the Month, which I am so excited about. Scentbird is the perfume I use. It is a monthly subscription service. It is a total life hack. You get the size of a rollerball for $14 every single month, and it's a designer fragrance that you choose. You never get a scent that you don't like. Um, and once a month for $14, they send you your little scent in the mail, and it's a great way to try it before you buy it. Also, another life hack, if your perfume ever breaks in your purse, if you're the kind of person who lugs the roller balls um, with you all day, this has an amazing little carrying case, so no matter where you go, this will not break in your purse. Like, I'm telling you, I can smash this, <laughs> and it is not breaking like normal perfume bottles do in my purse. So it is a definite life hack, um, but they are two times cheaper than a regular roller ball, and no, I am not being paid to say this. I am not affiliated with them. I was just honored to be their little muse of the month. I am just throwing that out there. But if you want your perfume to last all day or to not break in your purse, this is the way to go. This next hack might just be the answer that your skin has been waiting for. Our skin has different needs in different areas, so try a technique called multi-masking instead of just using one mask on your face. I'm using a different one under my eyes, a different one for where I get acne and breakouts, and one for my T-zone to combat oil. This specifically targets the different areas of your face and is a quick way to get amazing skin. Next, do you ever go to apply eyeliner or mascara but it seems a little bit too clumpy or the eyeliner is like so hard um, that it like comes off in chunks on your eye and you can't even get your liner even, which is hard enough because it's already hard enough to get winged liner even? A little tip is to stick your mascara and your eyeliner into your bra. Yep into your bra. The heat from your body will actually warm these up and that way when you go to apply them, your liner will go on silky smooth and your mascara will be even more clump free. <sighs> Another beauty hack is to apply eyeliner without tugging at your eye. Tugging at your eye can actually cause premature wrinkles and damage to the eye. So let your eye kind of sit neutrally and take this warmed up liner now that it's been all by your boobies for a few minutes. Um, and now that it's warm, just kind of apply it on and apply it messy. From there, take an angled brush and just smudge this out. It's the perfect way to get great eyeliner without destroying your face or tugging at your eyelids. Also, if you're like me and have a little bit of a problem getting your winged liner even, try using a dark eyeshadow with an angled or a liner brush and use this instead of liquid liner. It's a lot easier to erase if you make a mistake. Next, is your lip gloss always getting stuck in your hair? A quick tip is that after you apply your lip gloss, break out some hairspray. Spray this onto a makeup brush and on top of your lipstick, very gently dab this on top of your lips. This seals the gloss in, so you still have that glossy sheen, but it doesn't get caught in your hair if you're going out in the wind or driving with the windows down or just living your life and trying not to eat hair. But you know what? Being a girl is hard sometimes, okay? So that's where this tip comes in. Life hack, whoops. Do you have no time to do your hair, but you are sick and tired of the messy bun? 
This is the perfect way to do curls in half time. You can do them in under five minutes. First, heat up your curling iron and put your hair into a high ponytail. Curl your ponytail just the way you would do your hair normally. This cuts the time that you're taking in half and it actually helps your hair since you're not heat processing the whole entire head. Once that's just taken a minute to cool down, let out your ponytail and let your curls run free. This next hack is for actually becoming taller. They sell these little shoe inserts either online or at stores that are literally like spongy heels and you can stick these inside your shoes. Not just high heels, but in your sneakers, in your boots, you name it. They have all sorts of different heights from like a fourth inch to almost an inch and a half. Um, and it's perfect if you want that extra boost without letting people know that you're actually cheating. It's kind of like stuffing your bra, only it's not a bra, it's your shoes and you're not using toilet paper, you're using actual products. Whoops. Are you looking to go up a cup size without stuffing? Or do you have pesky bra straps that always get in the way? Use a paper clip to actually clip your bra together in the back. This adds a little bit more tightness and gets rid of all of these pesky straps that may be showing through. Because it's a little bit tighter, it also gives you a great lift and makes you look a little bit more endowed. Instead of just waving your mascara wand up horizontally, turn the wand vertical and actually go back and forth. This is the perfect way to get an extra boost of volume from your regular mascara. And while you were applying that flawless mascara, did you accidentally shove it into the side of your nose and now your entire face that you spent 50 hours on is like ruined? Fear not and do not wipe it. The first instinct is to go in there and wipe it, but we all know that that will just make us look like we have a gigantic wart on our face. So instead of spreading that mascara, wait about two minutes and let it completely dry. Next, take a makeup brush and dab it into your powder foundation. Use kind of a scraping motion and you can actually kind of flick this mascara up and off once it's dry. If there is any little trace of color left behind, use the powder on this brush to blend it in and it will look like it was never even there. Last but not least, we all know that beauty starts from the inside, but it can be very, very difficult to stick to a healthy lifestyle, especially if you have school or work or obligations or six cats. You know what I mean? One of the biggest breakfast life hacks are pre-made smoothies. There's ones that you can actually order to your house. I really love Daily Harvest. They're vegan. Just throw in your favorite kind of milk or water, blend them up, and sip it down. You can also pre-make your own smoothies and just put them in mason jars in the freezer. And when you're in a real big rush in the morning, just dump that entire thing to a blender, add your favorite milk, blend it up, and you are good to go. I also have some of my favorite smoothie recipes, so if you want to know what I eat for breakfast or if you want a smoothie for a glowing complexion or strong hair, let me know and maybe we could do a smoothie video in the future. But those are some life hacks that have absolutely changed my life. I hope that you can incorporate them into your routine as well and hopefully they will blow your beauty routine away and save you a lot more time for doing the most important things in life like cuddling cats or going shopping or spending hours watching YouTube videos. Also, let me know, do you want a life hack for acne? Do you want a life hack for the holidays? Let me know in the comments what other videos or life hacks you wanna see and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I post new videos every Monday and every Thursday, so be sure to check them out. I will link everything in the bottom tab along with some other amazing videos that will blow your mind, um, so go check them out. Anyways, I love you guys, and I cannot wait to see you all Monday and Thursday in the next video. Love you guys, bye.